Hello. Hey. We'll try again. We'll try again. Hello. Okay, I've never had a mic stand before, so I feel I should explain it. I put a chisel through my finger, so I can't hold stuff very well at the moment. Um, but they postponed my surgery till Monday, so I could be here with you, so that's nice. Uh, I'm Philip Colligan, for those of you who don't know me. I am the chief exec at the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Uh, who here has heard of Raspberry Pi? Yeah. <laughs> I know, that's my whole talk gone. <laughs> I have nothing to say. My, my job's very simple. I'm just here to uh, say welcome, say a few words about the foundation, uh, why Raspberry Fields, uh, and what you can expect over this next two days. Um, let me say a little bit about Raspberry Pi. Um, so Raspberry Pi, we're a non-profit, we're a charity based here in Cambridge. Um, we have a mission to put the power of digital making and computing into the hands of people all over the world. And what do we mean? We mean many millions more people should know how to create with technology, not just consume. We want more inventors, more engineers, more digital creators. Our founders, there's some of them here today, I can see at least one of them. Is Eben here? Where's Eben? He's around somewhere. He's around somewhere, so there's at least two of our founders. They had this genuinely revolutionary idea, and I think, I do mean that revolutionary idea, um, to, to remove price as a barrier to computing and to get many millions more people involved in learning how to create. Um, we do four things at the foundation. Um, we do product, I'm sure many of you have seen the Raspberry Pi product, over 20 million now out there in the wild. Um, used in industry, used by educators, used by hobbyists, used in the home. There are two on the International Space Station, and you can enter a competition if you're a young person. Hello. And have your code run in space. Um, they're in Hollywood. Who likes Marvel movies? Come on. Right, so the latest movie, Venom, there's this great photograph of Tom Hardy with a rig doing bullet time, and it's all Raspberry Pis up and down every side, now being used in Hollywood. There you are. Um, and this year, we launched the Model B3 Plus. Uh, even more power, lots of fun packed in to a $35 price tag. Um, so that's the first thing we do is the product. We do educational content, right? So our website is full of free learning resources that millions of people all over the world, increasingly diverse range of languages, are using to learn about computing. We also have lots of magazines and books. You'll see Russell out there in the lobby. Uh, we have three magazines and maybe some more exciting things coming soon. Uh, the Magpie, Hackspace for Makers, and Hello World for Educators. Um, the third thing we do is we support young people directly to learn about computing through clubs, through competitions, and through partnerships with youth organizations. Um, there are over 13,000 code clubs and coded dojos around the world right now. 200,000 kids a week are regularly participating in those. One of the things I'm most proud of, 40% of the kids at Code Club are girls. How awesome is that? We've got to get to 50% or more, but it's a good start. Yes, that's good. Some participation. 20% um, of UK schools have now got a code club. Um, and we've also got competitions, like I said, like Astro Pi, ha kids having their code run on the International Space Station. Coolest Projects, our big showcase. Um, and this year, one of the proudest moments for me this year, we launched a partnership with the Scouts. I know there are some Scout leaders here. Um, we're going to work with tens of thousands of young people through their Scout groups to teach them digital skills. We're also working uh, with the National Citizen Service. The final thing we do is we help parents, teachers, and volunteers learn the skills that they can use to support young people. Um, we've got 1,500 certified educators, tens of thousands of people completing our online courses, and lots more exciting things to happen there. With the exception of our hardware, which we work really hard to keep as low cost as possible, everything else I talked about is free. And that's one of the most important things for us. We're trying to remove price as a barrier to owning a powerful computer, and we want to remove price completely as a factor in learning new skills. We don't think people should have to pay for that at all. That's important to us. That's possible because of our business model, so we're a charity that owns a computer company, and it's also possible because we have an amazing group of sponsors and donors. Many of the big technology companies in the world back our work, and that enables us to deliver it for free. But more than the money, 
It's possible because we have tens of thousands of people in our community who support our code clubs, who work in schools, who develop our educational resources and moderate our online forums, and they do it all for free as volunteers. And that's why we're doing Raspberry Fields, is to say thank you to all of you who are involved in making this thing happen. Um, are there any teachers here? Teachers. So can I just say a massive thank you to teachers and to say it's almost the end of term. You've almost made it. What have you got? A couple of weeks left. Hang on in there. One week left, is it? Three weeks left. Okay, hang on in there. It's good to see you out. <laughs> uh, you're almost there, but thank you to the educators. Have we got anybody here who's involved in volunteering at code clubs, code dojos, scout groups, raspberry jams, creating educational resources, and the teachers? Could all of you just stand up for a moment? And the teachers? And can the rest of us just say a massive thank you to these heroes? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You can sit down. What I love is that Pete Lomas, who's one of the people who volunteers most hours in the world for this, just sat down. No, thank you. Not me at all. That's great. Um, we don't say thank you nearly enough, and that's why we thought we'd throw... Uh, a festival. Um, I talked earlier, I said revolutionary mission. I really mean revolutionary mission. The young people that you all work with, that we're all involved in supporting, are going to go on to create some uh, incredible innovations, bring new ideas into the world that we can't even dream of yet. And that's why we do this. We're excited about what they're going to create in the future. But it's not just their technical skills. It's also about the leadership roles and the mentorship that they play with each other. Um, I was volunteering at my son's code club this week. Um, and one young girl there was building a chatbot, one of our favorite projects for early Scratch, uh, 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 first uh, project on Scratch, and she needed some help. And she didn't turn to the teacher, she didn't turn to me as the volunteer, I'm like, okay. Um, she turned to one of her peers and asked them for help. And then a little group of boys um, got together uh, and they, they had a competition to see who could build the best physics engine in Scratch, right? These are nine and 10 year olds. And we didn't come up with that idea. They just charged off, had a little competition, and asked us to judge at the end of the hour session who'd built the best physics engine in Scratch. And it was genuinely impressive. Young people throughout this movement are taking leadership roles, running their code of dojos, supporting each other. And that's one of the things that makes me proudest about what we do. So what to expect? Um, I'm sure some of you have seen, the team have done an amazing job at turning The Junction, which is one of my favorite venues, uh, into uh, a festival. We've got a showcase of amazing creations by members of the community. Lots of talks and show and tells happening on the stages in here, and there's a room next door. There's some shopping to do. There's some drop-in workshops. You don't need to have booked anything. You can just rock up. There are food trucks and ice creams. My friend here is going to eat five ice creams, I think, uh, is what she said. Uh, and if you've got one of these on, you can come and go as you please throughout today. I think you need a separate ticket for tomorrow. Um, oh, and at the end of the day, like my heart beats so fast when I say this, we have Ada, Ada, Ada closing the show at 5, I want to say? 5.30 in this room. So I would get here a little bit early because this is going to be packed and this is one of the things I'm most excited about all weekend. Um, so we're going to end with two things. Firstly, I want to do a few more thank yous and then Alex is going to help us try and do something. Yes? Yes. In order for Alex to help us try and do something, I think what I really need is some of you around the green chairs to move on to the red chairs. So we're going to do that in 30 seconds. But first, I want to say thank you to um, three groups of people. Firstly, to the Cambridge Junction. Um, are any of you from Cambridge or the surrounding area? OK, do you know the Junction? Great. This is like a jewel in the crown in Cambridge, the amazing things that happen here. Uh, I know them well. Um, I come here all the time with my family and my kids. It's so generous of them to let us take over the whole place for two days. Um, and the team coming in and uh, helping us out is just fantastic. So a big thank you to The Junction. My doctor said explicitly, well, just don't clap, you'll be fine. Um, <laughs> uh, I want to say a big thank you to the team who've organized this. You'll see them in their glorious red t-shirts. Uh, the team at Raspberry Pi Foundation who've like, really worked hard to make this a special event for all of you. But just as importantly, in their blue t-shirts, the volunteers who've given up their weekends, like Spencer and many of them out there, who've given up their weekends to make this a special event for all of you. When you see them, can you just say thank you? Um, uh, just very quickly as you're passing, because that'll mean a lot to them. Um, okay, now we're going to try and do the thing, Alex. So can some of you come down onto the red chairs, those on the edge of the red chairs, scooch up to the middle, 
I'm being bombarded by a fly. Is that a wasp? Oh, if anyone has a yellow lanyard on, like you, this is going to be a photograph, so you might want to be um, uh, outside of the red chairs. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't rehearsed this. Yeah, this is completely out This is Alex, everybody. Hi. If you're involved in watching us on social media, it's Alex's fault. All of it is Alex's fault. Everything is me. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to do three, two, one, throw our arms in the air wildly. God, that's cozy now. Uh, throw our arms in the air wildly. There's some spaces at the front down here. Um, and say, Raspberry Fields. Is that OK? Yeah, we're going to do a GIF. It's going to be on um, Instagram. So okay. on Instagram, check us out. I'm going to go down there. Yeah, excellent. Right, whoop, whoop. hold on. <laughs> we're going to try a couple of attempts at this because, you know. <laughs> Right, hold on, right. So we've got to do it this way for Instagram, so we're really going to try and get everyone in. Hey, let's move them yeah. Spencer, come on.